Hello, young gardeners. Are you ready for an adventure? We're going to plant a garden. We'll grow sweet corn, juicy tomatoes, crunchy lettuce, and healthy spinach. It will be so much fun to watch your garden grow. You'll get to eat yummy food that you grew yourself. Let's get started on our gardening adventure. It's time to put on your gardening gloves and prepare to get your hands a little dirty. Don't worry, it's going to be a lot of fun. First things first. We need to find the perfect spot for our garden. This is crucial because the location will determine how well our plants grow. Look for a spot that gets plenty of sunlight throughout the day. A sunny location is essential for most vegetables as they need at least six to eight hours of direct sunlight to thrive. If you have kids, involve them in this process. It can be a fun family activity to choose the best spot together. Pick a place where the sun shines bright for most of the day. Vegetables love sunshine. Without enough sunlight, your plants may become weak and produce fewer vegetables. Observe your yard at different times of the day to see which areas get the most sun. Remember, the more sunlight, the better your garden will grow. Next, let's loosen the soil. This step is important because it helps the roots of your plants to grow easily and access nutrients. Compact soil can hinder root growth and water absorption. Use a garden fork or a shovel to break up the soil. If the soil is too hard, you might need to add some organic matter like compost to improve its texture. Soil is like a soft bed for our plants' roots. Healthy soil is full of life and nutrients that plants need to grow. When you crumble the soil in your hands, it should feel loose and crumbly, not compacted. This means it's ready to support your plants. Use a shovel or a small garden fork to turn the soil over. This process, known as tilling, helps to aerate the soil and mix in organic matter. It also helps to remove any weeds or debris that might be present. Make sure to till the soil to a depth of at least six to eight inches, which is sufficient for most vegetable roots. Now it's ready for our seeds and plants. A well-prepared garden bed is the foundation of a successful garden. Take a moment to admire your work and get excited about the planting process. Now that our garden bed is ready, it's time to plant our vegetables. Are you excited? Planting is a rewarding experience, especially when you see your plants grow and eventually harvest the fruits of your labor. Start by planning what vegetables you want to grow. Consider the space you have and the vegetables your family enjoys eating. Let's begin with the sweet corn, which will grow tall and strong in our garden. Sweet corn is a great choice for beginners because it's relatively easy to grow and can be very rewarding. Plant the seeds about an inch deep and 12 inches apart. Make sure to water them well after planting. As they grow, you'll need to keep an eye on them and provide support if necessary. Happy gardening! Corn is so much fun to grow. It grows tall like a giant green wall. Let's plant some corn seeds. First, make small holes in the soil with your finger. Make the holes about an inch deep and a few inches apart in a row. Drop one corn seed in each hole. Now, cover the seeds with soil and give them a gentle pat. Did you know corn can grow really, really tall? Some corn stalks can reach over 10 feet high. That's taller than a basketball hoop. Tomatoes are like little balls of sunshine. Their vibrant red color and juicy texture make them a favorite in many gardens and kitchens. But have you ever wondered what it takes to grow these delightful fruits? Let's dive into the world of tomato gardening and discover the secrets to cultivating these little balls of sunshine right in your backyard. Tomatoes need plenty of sunlight to grow big and juicy. Sunlight is essential for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light into energy. Without enough sunlight, tomatoes can become weak and produce fewer fruits. Ideally, tomato plants should receive at least six to eight hours of direct sunlight each day. This ensures they have the energy they need to grow strong and produce an abundance of delicious tomatoes. Let's plant some tomato seedlings. Starting with healthy seedlings is crucial for a successful tomato harvest. When choosing seedlings, look for ones that are green and sturdy with no signs of disease or pests. It's also a good idea to select varieties that are well suited to your climate and growing conditions. Gently take a tomato seedling and make a hole in the soil big enough to fit its roots. The hole should be deep enough to cover the roots completely and provide stability for the plant. If the seedling is tall and leggy, you can plant it deeper, burying part of the stem to encourage additional root growth. Carefully place the seedling in the hole and cover the roots with soil. 
Be sure to press the soil gently around the base of the plant to remove any air pockets and provide support. This helps the seedling establish a strong root system, which is essential for healthy growth. Give it a little water to help it settle in. Watering is crucial during the early stages of growth as it helps the seedling adjust to its new environment. Be careful not to overwater as this can lead to root rot and other issues. A gentle, consistent watering schedule will help your tomato plants thrive. Tomatoes love sunshine just like we do. In addition to sunlight, tomatoes also need warmth to grow. They thrive in temperatures between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. If you live in a cooler climate, consider using row covers or a greenhouse to extend the growing season and provide the warmth your tomatoes need. Make sure your tomato plants get at least six hours of sunlight every day. Regularly check your garden to ensure there are no obstacles blocking the sunlight, such as overgrown trees or tall structures. Pruning your tomato plants can also help improve air circulation and light penetration, leading to healthier plants and better fruit production. Now, let's move on to lettuce which prefers a little bit of shade. Unlike tomatoes, lettuce thrives in cooler temperatures and can suffer in intense heat. Planting lettuce in a shaded area or using shade cloth can help protect it from the sun and keep it crisp and tender. By understanding the unique needs of each plant, you can create a thriving garden that produces a variety of delicious and nutritious vegetables. Lettuce is so much fun to grow because it grows super fast. You can almost watch it grow. Let's plant some lettuce seeds. Sprinkle some lettuce seeds on top of the soil in a row. Lightly cover them with a thin layer of soil. Now water them gently. Did you know that some lettuce can be ready to pick in just a month? That means we can have fresh salads very soon. Spinach is a superfood. It makes you strong and healthy. It's like magic, but it's real. Let's plant some spinach seeds. Spinach seeds are tiny, just like lettuce seeds. Sprinkle them on the soil and cover them lightly with a thin layer of soil. Now give them a gentle water. Spinach is a cool weather crop. This means it grows best in spring and fall. You can even grow it in a container on a sunny windowsill. Our plants are like our friends. They need our care. We need to give them water and pull out any weeds that try to grow near them. Water your garden regularly, especially when it's sunny but don't overwater or the roots might rot. Weeds are like bullies, taking away sunlight, water and nutrients from our plants. Pull them out gently to give your vegetables more room to grow, see? Taking care of your garden is easy and fun. Now let's look forward to the most exciting part, harvesting our vegetables. After weeks of patiently waiting and caring for our garden, it's finally harvest time. The anticipation has been building up, and now we get to see the fruits of our labor. Each plant has been nurtured with love and attention, and now they are ready to be enjoyed. The garden is bursting with colors and life, a true testament to the hard work put in. This is the most rewarding part of being a gardener. There's nothing quite like the feeling of picking your own vegetables, knowing that you grew them from tiny seeds. The satisfaction of seeing your hard work pay off is unparalleled. It's a moment of pride and joy, a celebration of nature's bounty. You can tell your sweet corn is ready when the tassels at the top turn brown and the kernels are plump and milky. It's a sign that the corn has reached its peak ripeness. The kernels should be firm and juicy, bursting with flavor. There's a certain magic in peeling back the husk to reveal the golden kernels inside. Tomatoes are ready when they turn a beautiful red color. They should be firm, but slightly soft to the touch, indicating that they are ripe and ready to be picked. The vibrant red hue is a visual cue that the tomatoes are at their sweetest and juiciest. Picking them at the right time ensures the best flavor. Lettuce and spinach can be harvested when the leaves are big enough to eat. The leaves should be crisp and tender, perfect for salads and sandwiches. It's important to pick them before they become too mature and tough. Freshly harvested greens are packed with nutrients and have a delightful crunch. Imagine biting into a juicy tomato you grew yourself or making a salad with fresh lettuce and spinach. Yummy! The flavors are so much more intense and satisfying when you know they came from your own garden. It's a true farm-to-table experience right in your backyard. The freshness and quality are unmatched. You'll be amazed by how much tastier homegrown vegetables are. The difference in flavor is remarkable. Homegrown vegetables are not only fresher, but also free from chemicals and pesticides. 
They are healthier and more nutritious, providing you with the best possible food for your family. Sharing a meal made with your own produce is a special experience, filled with love and care. It's a reminder of the simple joys of life and the beauty of nature's gifts. Congratulations, little gardeners. You did it. You grew your very own vegetables. Wasn't it fun and rewarding? Gardening is not just about growing food, it's about growing memories. Remember the excitement of planting the seeds, the joy of watering your plants, and the satisfaction of harvesting your own food. Now you have a story to tell, your very own gardening adventure. Share your gardening story with your friends and family. Tell them about the vegetables you grew and how much you enjoyed it. Maybe you'll inspire them to start their own gardening adventures too.